I'm going to start out by giving the ladies exactly what they love, and that is the models, short range, medium range, and long term. We are looking at some weather here projected by the supercomputers and the artificial intelligence trying to guess exactly what the weather will be like. And as you can see, the wet periods will be undergoing in the southwest. We're talking California, the south, Arizona, New Mexico, and then the storm that comes in around Thanksgiving, which will be blowing through the west coast, and then the center part of the United States, and then the USA. Now these are going to be mixed precipitation storms that sometimes hook up to punch Nova Scotia right in the nuts. Why is Mother Nature mad at Nova Scotia? I do not know. Maybe one day we will find out. But as you can see, we've got some stormy weather on the way. I'll be looking out for floods. Look at that thing. That will be hitting the day before Thanksgiving. So it will be causing problems for the innermost parts of America. And it looks like California may be getting a Thanksgiving snowstorm as well. Wait. For some parts of the high mountains and the rest will probably just be rain. Watch. Here we come. This is the 22nd, 23rd, 24th. That one looks like a rinky dink, although it hurricanes out and punches Nova Scotia. And there. So, yeah, you get a big, pretty storm on Thanksgiving with rain and mountains for Sierra and Nevada. It's so fascinating. And, like, let me make this quick 30 second commercial reminder that. On the 23rd of November, in four days, it will be my seven-year anniversary of bringing you all Thor news, and I've been your planetary defense commander for about four years. So if you would like to send me a little seven-year bonus or eight-year fundraiser, the very best way to do it is T. Lewison, 5430, Birdwood Road, number 416, Houston, Texas, 77096, or I got a PayPal. Hopefully, it makes it through. And I would appreciate anyone who appreciates all the hard work, effort, and sacrifice I put into this, bringing you guys the truth, humor, and inspiration in a time where it seems like there are only two narratives on any given subject. Man, I'm feeling feisty today. Mike B. Weather pointing out what I was pointing out. 12Z Euro is showing the threat for an interior snowstorm this weekend. I bet it trends further north, but we'll see. This is just a threat for now, and this is for the weekend, and... It's just a possibility. Jody heard Hernandez saying Contra Costa County says PG&E will push back tomorrow's power shutoff to parts of the county. The PSPS, PlayStation, PlayStation, will now begin at 1 p.m. tomorrow. Parts of El Sobrante, La Fiat, Morgana, Aga, Orenda, Pinhole, and Richmond will be impacted. So, yeah, if you love... Strange rolling blackouts, California is the place for you. And remember, we do have a 75% chance of a major earthquake and possible volcano eruption in California before the end of the year and 95% in 2020. So please, Californians, stay aware. We are going to take a moment to witness the Taylor Swift dating simulator. I've got nothing but love for you, sweet cheeks. Bloop. My eyes are so blue, if you look into them, you'll get wet. Oh no, I'm in trouble. I'm frisky today. But who owns it? That's a great question. And all the ladies love and get hot and bothered for a possible sudden stratospheric warning as we end November. That should be warning. Warming. Or warming warning. As we end November and head into December. A warming rapidly of the stratosphere can eventually set up high pressure over North Pole and then push cold air into the mid-latitudes. No guarantee by any means, but one route to a very cold weather. Yeah, and I would guess we're going to have a cold winter. With periods of severe heat-ups. Chris Ravenclaw Crapaw. Crapaw? Craven Brooks. Significant severe weather hovering over Texas moving east starting sometime tomorrow over the SPC s-r-e-f model today it's moving up into arizona a little later within the next five hours crap shucks dang i hit the wrong button now uh everything's not all lined up how are you doing what are you wearing um are you ready for thanksgiving what about christmas thanksgiving's nine days away did you know that i have absolutely no plans okay it's 
I'm open, ladies. So we, before I get to the big storm that will be hitting the United States, we have Tropical Storm Sebastian, which I think could become a hurricane. Some of these models have showed it to get to Cat 3, but then others have showed it to just turn into nothing. It is absolutely no threat to the United States, but it could end up in Europe. And the main reason I wanted to show before I forgot is Europe is going to get hit by the wave after wave after wave pattern. Just again and again and again and again and again and again and again. Plus, Italy's like getting volcanoes and then mega hail and then snow and then rain and then lightning and then gelato and then beautiful Italian women in bikinis was it talking about oh greece has been getting some funky weather too yeah so all the major weird signs are pointing towards europe and i have a big earthquake watch volcano watch for around christmas at the full solar eclipse i have no idea where it's going to go may want to check out dutch since for a better idea on that um but yeah definitely the middle of december's or the 26th and anywhere a week before a week after we've been watching for some crazy activity as far as earthquakes and volcanoes go hey i'm a bit rusty this thing is a pretty big major storm that will affect a whole lot of people in the united states all the way from california to new york and kati if you're listening if you did get engaged or married congratulations You'll always be one of my favorite reporters of all time. Was it talking about? Oh, yeah. So you're getting snow in the snowy areas and then hot rain. But let's look at this. Tornadoes in Arizona. You know, we're not talking dust devils. We're talking possible actual tornadoes coming out of the, remember the volcano range is kind of here. Good to know. And the SPCs are sometimes a little slow behind. So Texas, we're going to have to watch out for some possible tornado weather as well and this is greece yesterday the chi i o s island um that is a pretty big nasty freaking water spout bro like as far as water spouts go that one's healthy that one's been drinking a lot of chocolate milk it's got some thick bones oh i'm just playing water spouts don't have bones if they do that would be creepy huh asteroid fight club member all-star Dakota Smith, the weather DAC, showing us that Sebastian is forming over the sea. So this is pretty late in the season, tropical storm activity. Pretty sure it's not any threat to the United States. And we will close out with a pretty safe. But notice how, like, here's the convection, and then here's the low. So how they spin away, they keep, keep separating. That's what's keeping it from forming. So that's good. Good news, right? Corey Repenhagen, no relation to Copenhagen. Have you ever dipped? It's kind of gross. Two players head towards Colorado making for a tricky forecast. Will they cancel each other out, or will they act separately, or will they team up? So far, it looks like they will act somewhat separate. Because as I've mentioned before, it seems like there's schisms happening in every group. And so teamwork is fewer and far between, even atmospherically, I guess, these days. Everything's wild. And yet, on this Tuesday, we are currently monitoring a potential storm this weekend that would move down through the this area into this area. We will keep you posted. Jeff Frame, Vortex Jeff, showing us a beautiful loop of repeatedly cyclogenesis, courtesy of today's 000 UTC GFS. But as you can see, the hot side is hot, and the cold side is cold, and the battle happens in the middle. And that is where the weather happens. Rob Maida, breezy today and much cooler. You're welcome. Watching those gusts, especially North Bay Mountains, Interior Sacramento Valley, and Sierra, as red flag conditions develop. So, good luck to you, California. We will watch out for any major possible wildfires. Yeah, it's going to get pretty windy in some areas. Hopefully not too bad, though. Jackson cool as a dill pickle. The latest Euro run has widespread dew points in the 40s across South Florida tomorrow. 
that is about as dry as it gets here. So there you go. And you guys should have some pretty decent temperatures, I believe. We got Matthew Kuyugagen Mokagen May Menghang Ring Fujiwara effect. Ah, I may have mispronounced that. Mokang May Menghang Ring Fujiwara effect. What it means is we have the Ramones, Joey, here, and then we have Sarah here, and they are interacting with each other. Matthew Fraria would be a very beautiful look on satellite if this were to come to verify it. And right now it has it mostly popping over the main northeast, but this is still a week away. Interesting, no doubt. But you better have your travel plans ready. I'm open for dates on the 23rd and Thanksgiving, by the way, ladies. Robert LaRoche Limit, Impulse in New England, showing up nicely. And with Mercury ending its retrograde tomorrow at about 13 UTC and going direct, beware of any strange impulses today. It's a bit wonky. Bobby Storm liking your announcement of Tropical Storm Sebastian better than the official ones. Guess they couldn't just put up an image on the official map, but it would have been cute. Good going, Mike, as always. Good job, Mike. And Mike's weather page is what I always use here. Um, it's at spaghettimodels.com. Either here, Cranky Weather Guys has one of the best sites with all the best maps on it. Although you can do your own due diligence and find your own favorite spots if these don't satisfy you, baby. You're so hard to please these days. Well, let's click on this one, shall we? All right. So, yeah, I'll be getting back into the swing of things. I hope. Yeah, I'd bet on some flooding in Arizona tomorrow for sure. And good news, NASA may have already found Planet 9, or Planet X, depending on how you rank them. Um, so that's interesting. I'll have to do a whole other video on that. Jonathan Petromala is stuck in the OBX because of a highway closure, but this guy is really stuck. Yeah, dude. You're, it's, you're gonna have a hard time getting sand out of that. You ever gotten sand in your underwear? <sighs> and we'll close it out with the King of Weather Twitter Cranky Weather Guy Storm Total Snowfall Forecast. There's a little additional surprise in the central Hudson Valley. As per the strength of the disturbance last night, giving interest. Up north, a combined effort of remain of the lingering and incoming. Okie dokie. So, everybody, stay cool. I will try and shake the rust off. If you want to send me a letter, that would put a smile on my face or a PayPal donation. Just to say thanks and kick off the eighth year Thor news. That would be great. If not, that would be cool. Everybody just be cool. Everybody have a wonderful, happy holiday. And I love you. God bless everyone.